All right, everyone. So this will be another hopefully quick mod review. Um, so I'm really excited about this. Um, this is a mod that I use on all of our ASE servers uh, currently. Um, it is the human NPC mod. So you're probably wondering who's my friends. Uh, these are some NPCs I tamed. Um, I'm going to tell you right now they are a pain to tame. Yes, they are tameable. You knock them out. You feed them raw meat. I would suggest you use raw prime meat or you will be here all day. They're torpor drains extremely fast um i had so many of these guys knocked out to try to have a, a good little army of people to show you um there are male and female i only have some female here but they run around the map um and they cause you hell um so without further ado let's talk about these guys and some of the benefits that they actually have to being on your server um so um, you will need a bunch of narcotics when taming them. As I said, your, their torpor goes down extremely fast. Um, and definitely, I suggest the, the raw prime meat and not regular meat. Um, so, um, basically, so these guys, you can actually go right into their inventory. You can put armor on them. So, I can give her some pants, maybe. Um... And the cool thing about these guys is you can get them to, to basically work for you. So I, if you, you would enable turret mode on these guys. Send harvesting, harvest distance. Uh, and, and she's off. Alright, we've got a trapper. So they'll get meat. They will um, do pretty much all of that. Um, they will also put your stuff in boxes uh, for you, so you don't have to worry about doing that. So you can see, you can set them, obviously, stop harvesting how far you want them to actually go. Um, and I did see that you enable turret mode, which let's see what that actually does. Wrong button. Um, that was in behaviors. Enable turret mode. So they move, they do their thing. So those guys should be off to, to do what I sent them to do. I don't know what they're doing. Um, but that's pretty much what they do. So they'll harvest for you. They will get gather meat um, and all that kind of stuff. And they'll put it all away for you. Um, the other really great thing, because, I mean, they are annoying to tame. I do want to mention real quick before I actually forget um, the no NPC signs. So they just take wood to make. They're made in your inventory. If you are building and you have these on your server or your single player, you definitely want to have your no NPC signs up or they are going to come over and they are going to invade the hell out of you. Um, they knock you out unconscious. They bola you. Um, they treat you really, really bad. So it's kind of a, a nice way to have a PvP experience without the toxic PvP players. Um, but in addition to that, as you kill them, obviously you will get whatever armor that they have on them. Which is kind of cool. Um, so the more you kill, you'll get your hide and you'll gather up a bunch of armor. They also create little houses, little villages around. And there is one right up here on the hill. So I'm going to bring you guys over and I'm going to show you what's beneficial to you kind of early game. Like once you get a tame and you're able to kind of defeat these guys you can see them so we're gonna have to kill them up here if we want to get what I want to show you so let's uh, get them to all come over here because yes you will, will destroy their houses but you can see the nice little huts that they build it's pretty cool um, this is cross console if I didn't say it already um, so they will uh, work and uh, from what I have heard are working well on uh, PC and obviously console currently there's a whole bunch of these guys so you can see they have quite the village going on right now is that it I think there's some hiding over there we're safe so you can see in here 
in their little houses, they have these little storage boxes. And look all the great stuff you actually get. We got some prime fish meat. Oh, they actually had weapons. I usually don't have them finding weapons. Black pearls, uh, gunpowder. Um, they're back. They're around. We didn't get rid of them all. Um, but in their houses, um, they most houses will have the little boxes that you can go in. Um, so while they try to raid you, you can also come up here, kill them off. Uh, and look in my griffin, I bet you look. That's from killing all the NPCs. So it is excessive. You obviously will not be keeping a lot of this stuff and ending up throwing a lot of it away. Or if you're the type that likes to tame these guys and, and uh, get a whole army crew going, I mean, you'll be able to dress them free of cost. Uh, let's see if we can get one more box. See, this one doesn't have a box. This one has a box. So all the different little styles that they have are pretty cool. So you can definitely see how beneficial this is. Usually there's like veggie cakes and stuff in there. Is there a hidden box there? No, that's a campfire. I think they did a pretty a pretty good job with how they create, create their stuff. Alright. Will you just take care of them? I'm just gonna... Don't mind me, just looting. I don't see any more boxes. But this still will give you an idea of all the kind of different... Uh, no box in there either. Uh, the different styles that they actually will create. Um, they will uh, spawn in at the levels that you have your wild dino spawning in. So they're just going to piggyback off that. This guy's pretty tough. All right. All right, well, we can get out of here. You guys got the gist of it. Uh, you got to see the different uh, styles of buildings that they actually... Uh, where's my griffin? That they can create. And yes, those boxes are all in there. Um, in most of the houses, I think it really, like, the longer they end up staying... Um, building up uh the more likely you'll they'll have boxes in them um and then like i said whatever you kill they have different stuff on them sometimes it'll be narcotics it'll always be armor um sometimes it's food they might have some honey or vegetables in their inventory stuff like that um and there's the no npc sign right there for you um so i got invaded pretty bad here uh, while i was setting up and getting uh, prepared to to do everything hey what are you what are you working on um, but yeah so they can patrol they can fight for you they can uh, gather resources they put it away all of that cool stuff I don't know what's going on but like all hell just broke loose um, and to be honest that's pretty much the gist of it um, so definitely I definitely enjoy this mod it's definitely a must-have mod on our ASE servers uh, we've been going through the story mode um, from the island to scorched earth to aberration and currently finishing off extinction right now they have been on every server to join in the fun and help us out um for sure i don't know what's going on um but i do appreciate everyone uh, all the subscribing the likes the thumbs ups all of that i apologize for all the commotion that's going on in the background um i will leave the link to the uh mod to the curse force pay curse forge page in the description of this video um, as well as the community discord so if you have or if you are interested um, come on over and join the community uh, if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments and of course the discord's there as well so join the discord uh, lots of people there to help um, I'm obviously uh, getting molly whomped here um, so oh god um, but yeah, I apologize. This is a very distracted ending because I'm under attack right now. Um, but again, I really do appreciate everybody. I hope you will enjoy this mod. Um, it's definitely worth it. But as you can see, it can definitely be a pain in your behind these guys. Um, I would technically be dead or knocked out because I am currently sitting in creative mode because I was setting all of this stuff up for you. Um, and you can see why early game these things could could potentially cause you uh, to cry and rage quit. Um, so again, appreciate each and every one of you. The Discord link will be in the description. The mod page will be in the description. And I will see you all in the next one.